In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the UI Activity View Controller. The UI Activity View Controller is the simplest way of interfacing with social networks. It provides a really simple API, but the user has to choose the network that they're going to post to. It is post only, and the UI elements that provide the user selection and the preview are pretty standard and not customizable. In our app, we're going to have an area for you to enter a message and we'll also be able to choose an image for the post. This button will allow us to choose an image, and we'll get to preview that image. And then finally, there'll be a button down here to post the message. I've hooked these up in the standard way. So we have a view controller, choose image method that's going to be associated with that button. And on the post, we also have a post message. The first thing we should do in our project is we do need to link to the libraries for the social framework and core services, or else this API won't work. And then we get to the meet in our view controller. We have objects for our text box for the post and our image view, and our actions for choosing the image and post message. And finally, we also have an event on the overall form itself to hide the keyboard. There's only one text view on the form to get focus, and when it has focus, the keyboard will cover up the post message button. So we want to be able to click elsewhere on the form and hide that keyboard. So that's what that event will do. First we'll look at the choose image method and we're going to create a UI image picker controller and the source type is going to be the photo library on the device. And we'll show that with a little animation and that'll pop up a standard dialog to allow the user to pick an image out of the library. If they do pick an image, we'll get this method call and ultimately what we'll do is we'll get the image and set our image views image to that object. If they cancel, we just dismiss the view controller. The hide keyboard is pretty simple. All it does is resign the first responder on our text box, and that effectively hides the keyboard. Finally, we have the post message, and this is where we actually use the UI activity view controller. First, we take a look at the image and determine whether it's nil or not. If it's not nil, we create an array of text and the image. If there's no image, we're just going to send the text. So that's all the items we'll have for our array. Then we create a UI activity view controller. We set the init with activity items to that activity items array that we created. And finally, we present the view controller. And that's all there is to it. So let's see how that looks. We're going to run it in the simulator. We're just going to have a little test post. And you can see the keyboard is there. When I click elsewhere on the form, the keyboard is hidden. I choose an image, and it's shown in my image view. And finally, I post my message. And this is where the standard UI comes in to select the service I want to use to post. So I'm going to post to Twitter, and you can see the preview that I have. If I send that, it'll actually post to Twitter directly. I'm going to cancel because I don't really want to tweet that. And we're back to the app. One other thing, if I post that message again, and choose Facebook, I actually have no Facebook account set up on this device. So I can go into settings and set the account up, but the UI Activity View Controller uses the accounts that are set up on the device in the settings area. So if there aren't any accounts set up, this won't work. So you have to be aware of that. And again, this is a standard UI, and you don't have any control of that. Once you get through the presentation of the View Controller, it's up to the operating system beyond that. So that's the limitation of using the UI Activity View Controller. It's very simple to use otherwise, but this is the limitation of it. In future lessons, we'll see how to use the SL Compose View Controller. It has similar limitations in this respect, but it doesn't require the user to choose a service. You can choose the service within the application.